I have only 10 minutes. It's actually very short because uh, I'm a guy who is making revolution. <laughs> of course, you're making two, but my topic is how you can make revolution with yourself. It's very important. Why? Because everything starts from you. Everything what happened with you become mirrored to the outside, and that is your main reason why you're doing whatever things. I uh, thought uh, maybe I'm writing down, down something to make it very briefly, very fast way to explain what really happened with, happens with you. Because, you know, uh, we know a lot of things about everything where we're living, what happened, uh, happens with nature, but we don't know so much what happens with us. Are you agree with that? Raise your hand who is agree with that. Right, that is my topic. That is, uh, I'm really very professional with that. Why? Because uh, that's Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga is always uh, working with self. Learn how those things here works and learn how you can uh, release those things. What means releasing? Who have uh, bad emotions? Raise your hand. You say pains, right? Not so much people. But uh, of course, everyone have those things around the world. I'm looking here different uh, workshops, how people working with those things, and uh, really, guys, you need revolution. Because it's very long, very long process. For Buddhists, it takes 10, 15 years to go clear from those uh, problems. That knowledge, with which one I teach, I'm using here in our place, it's very efficient. You can release your pains, your bad emotions through few seconds. And results is permanent. Is it a revolution? Yes. Raise your hand, who is agree with me? Not so much people, I, I have uh, two hands, right? So, how it's possible? It's possible because if you learn how your functions happens here, then you become able to do that by yourself. Why it's important to release pains, you already know, right? But do you know your pains and your that good side, I need it, I like it, it actually belongs to the one unit. That one unit we call subconsciousness. Do you know what is subconsciousness? It's absolutely reactional, reactional part of you. And everything what you like, what you dislike, is right there. And it works absolutely automatically. Are you seeing it, how it works? So it can't be one part of humans. It's, of course, we're using it, but it's not you. Why? Because you can recognize it. Who is that part of you which one can recognize it? It's awareness. A lot of people here using awareness, I see it, they're using mindfulness or they still keep their day's awareness. And believe me, their perception of uh, life is different. Why it's different? It's become more clear. It means you can recognize automatically raised uh, emotions with thoughts. It means basically if you can recognize them, you are not them. Even they happens inside your body. I'm right? Is it logical? Is it too tough for you now? No? I know, you are, you are specialists, right? So, using of awareness must be first in our life. Why? Because from other side, you have subconsciousness processes, reactional side. But if you're using awareness, you will see it's like absolutely clear, calm space. You don't have any emotions there. You don't have any compassion there. You don't have any connections to the life. It means it's great, but beyond it, beyond your consciousness, 
are you, that real self, true self. People who use awareness, they become very often stuck there. And, like I said, it's not so nice to see, right? That clear, sharp vision. By the way, all those people who are using more awareness in daily life, they are more successful. Really. So, how you can go beyond even awareness? I'm not, I'm not talking about emotions and thoughts. Beyond awareness, beyond mindfulness. It's unknown, but by discoverings, you can find it. What is important? It's important because if you become true self, that is your real personality, real one. That personality, what you're reading from your mind, and which one are supported by emotions, it's not you. Those phenomena are teached to you from others. I think you know that. Thinking is actually speaking. Speaking are learned by you from childhood. Agree? Raise your hand. Who is agree with that? Right. It's 100% truth. Emotions, if you're looking child, it's born, it's without emotions. Emotions are teached to you by others with problems, like thinking or information. It's data, actually. Data plus emotions making subconsciousness uh, reactions. That is our life, what we know today. That is problem, pro problematic because if you're looking around, you will see which one consequences are made by that. So, and if you're looking, you will see it's a historical problem without any resolvings. Of course, we need something good to change our life, and we're choosing positive emotions, but they are automatic processes too. Because if you like to keep your emotions, positive emotions, can you keep them 24-7? Raise your hand who can do that. No one can raise your hand because it doesn't work. It means your good state, your good life, that is dependent. About that, how you can activate those emotions, right? Whatever ideas you can use, they always calming down. Why? Because nature of emotions is like that. But the awareness, it's always here, right? It's not important you know that or you don't know that. It's always here because everyone knows what is person who is uh, uh, in unconscious state. Are you so seeing that person who is unconscious? It's like that, right? Nothing here. It means if you are not unconscious, you have consciousness, but you don't can recognize it, right? Because it's not teach to you. How to do that? If you taking your awareness, you become aware of your awareness, your consciousness, you become citizen of here and now. It means here and now is only one real point in your life where really life happened. It happens only now. But if you remember some things from past or, or you imagining to the future, you will see you become confused, right? You become disconnected to the reality and you become involved to the memory. To the memory. You're working with your memory. What is new there? Can you show to me? Can you say to me, what is new there? Nothing. Nothing new. That's reason why we're making mistakes again, again, and again. That is reason why I say that's a revolution, what I'm making here. First, you must become aware to see by yourself automatic reactions. Uh, it's very logical. You need to learn how you can release those wrong knowledges, which one are teach to you by others. Then you can become much more clear, independent. Because today, everything, everything what you're doing, it's reactional. 
It's 95% reactional. What do you think about it? It's so much or not? You know that system, subconsciousness system, even one cell have that system. One bacteria have, have same system. You can't say that is us, that is a Homo sapiens sapiens quality. It's natural law. Everything lives with those processes. How become true self? Are you here? Are you already here? Raise your hand if you know I am here. Of course, how you know that? How you know that? If you're asking that question from self, you see your thought talking, thoughts talking, I am here, I am here. But you can recognize that, right? It means thoughts can support that knowledge. Because that is not a reason to be here. You must discover your awareness. To become aware of your awareness, then you start to understand I am here, right? Without thoughts. Let's make one exercise. I show to you who you are. I'm guiding you, you're doing it, okay? Why it's important to find yourself, the true self? It's already good. It means that part of you is created by nature absolutely positive. Not, you can't change nothing there. It's always good, best, whatever we can be. You can feel it. You can sense it. You can experience of it. That's not object, some good emotions. Good emotions actually is like story, which one replacing your natural goodness. If you become naturally you, you are not now on the stage of your life. You, not your emotions and thoughts which are not teached by others to you. It's very important to wake up from that uh, dream. Are you ready? Let's do it. Be concentrated, because if you are not learned how to manage your awareness, you have monkey mind process, right? Use your imagination. Close your eyes, please. Imagine green apple forward of you, proximate to one meter. And keep it there. In that time where, when you're looking at it, just uh, recognize three things. Apple is there. I am here. And between me and Apple is some kind of connection, invisible connection. This connection is awareness. And look, inside, you look into the Apple. That's your inner ability to see. Bring your awareness back for, to, to, your, to you. And change your ability to see to ability to feel itself and just let it go. Go deep in that experience. Go, go. <coughs> go and be self. Just continue. Be aware of self-sense, sense of self, and relax. And you can recognize peace, balanced. You're balanced here. And some kind of very, very thin, subtle goodness. That is you. Because if I'm asking you, is it you? You can say, yes. It's not some ob object with what you can become experienced. It's not thing, something what is far away from you. That is your natural state. That is real human. Not that physical body, not emotions, not 
thoughts, not even awareness. That is you. That is true self. In yoga, we say, sat chitanand. And look, if you are yourself, everything is okay. Why it's okay? Because you are created perfect living being. What is wrong with you? You don't know who you are. You have only emotions, thoughts. That's not you. It's definitely not you. Because you can recognize their existence. It's very important to live your life, that true self-life. You are already perfect. Nothing wrong with you and the, around the world. Nothing. The biggest problem is humans don't know who they are. They're searching. They're doing whatever things to replace experience of true self. It doesn't work because everything changes. But you are here. You was always here. That's the reason why I say it's revolution. It's not evolution anymore. You are already perfect, right? And that perfectness going through awareness, through your ability to think, through ability to use energies or emotions, through physical body to this earth, to this life, make good changes here. Because you are in deep, you are good. All those things, what happens around the world, happens because people don't know who they are. And they're using different emotions and thoughts that greed about what they talked here, about those searchings, what is right, what is wrong. It's always about that. That small book, Turning Point, is written to introduce to the people new paradigm. That's new paradigm to be true self here in earth, to be a real human. Which one replacing idea, concept about uh, thinking emotional persons. That's something different. It's time to pull that wheel of teachings in the new round, right? Thank you.